Have you ever struggled with bad photo edits like this? I struggled with it my whole life. My editing approach before was cranking up contrast and saturation and it's done. I learned the hard way that it's not enough. It's why I got a mentor. Not him, but this guy. This is Pat. Pat K is a YouTuber and award-winning freelance travel photographer based in Australia who worked with many big clients. Last month he released his Lightroom editing masterclass, which I attended and recently finished. I learned in this masterclass how to edit my photos so that they look like this. You can get the course for 299 US dollar on Padcase website. I got it for 249 as I bought it as an early bird just at the beginning. The course contains 11 hours of high quality content and has a community page where you can ask questions and get in touch with others. Because I'm a big fan of upfront conclusions, I will tell you upfront that I would highly recommend Padcase new Lightroom editing masterclass if you want to learn to edit like a pro or upgrade your editing skills. In the following I will justify why I recommend the course. I will share some aspects that were eye-opening to me. I will explain who the course is for and how it's structured. Little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. I paid for the course myself. It's an honest and unbiased review. By the way, my name is Eve. I'm from Germany and on this channel I talk about the creative process and mindful productivity. Structure of the course. Here's a super quick look inside the course. In the first part, Pat covers the user interface, the basics and all the tools in Lightroom. He explains how they work and how to use them in detail. Right after that, he talks about local adjustments and his workflow. Later, he dives into the creative process. He explains how to build your own visual aesthetic. He makes many really good examples in very detailed editing sessions. Why did I buy the course? When I edited photos in the past, I did not really know what I'm doing. Just recently I started this YouTube channel and I got a new camera and I had the feeling that it's time to improve on my editing skills in Lightroom. I'm a big fan of learning and investing in myself as it has the highest return on investment. Once learned, I can capitalize the skills all my life if not robots take over the world. Many people could now say, but can you find the resources online for free? Yes, to a certain degree you can find similar content online, but it would take you a lot of time to collect all the information as it's fragmented and also it would not be of this high quality as you have it in a course. And it's not built on each other like in the course. Also, the course saves me a lot of time as Pat shares an efficient and very straightforward workflow. Course quality. Pat K is a calm and chill teacher with the right degree of love to detail. That's said from a German perspective. The course itself is high quality, 4K video, great sound, well structured, every aspect is thought through and very well explained. Short intros at the beginning of each module help to get clarity about what to expect and the course is structured in a way that it helps you to gradually improve without getting overwhelmed. I would give the course 98 of 100 points. The only thing I missed a little bit were raw photos to practice editing with. My own raw photos are bad shot and partially wrong exposed. It's why using them was maybe not perfect for me. I can understand why Pat can share his photos because they are too valuable and he earns his money with them. After a quick Google search I found this website signatureedits.com where you can get raw photos to practice with. You can even include them in your projects. Just let you know it takes a little bit of a selection process as not every photo there is raw. Some jetpacks are included as well. My favorite lessons are versus jetpack. If you care about getting the most out of your photos I would recommend you to shoot in raw as jetpack photos the file is compressed and many details are lost. Luckily most of the cameras today can shoot in RAW, even the iPhone can shoot RAW photos called Pro RAW. Style versus visual treatment. I really like this module. It's less about Lightroom but more about how to improve your photography skills as a whole. Pat defines style as the ability to communicate through visual language, what and how you approach your shooting rather than the visual treatment, the editing. As Pat said in the course, 70% of the end results depend on on your style and 30% on the visual treatment of the editing. Good shot plus good edit, great image, bad shot plus good edit, still crap. 
There's this meme, you always see that fix it in post. The point is you can't fix it in post. So it makes a lot of sense to fix the 70% if you are a beginner and not really experienced or good enough. Visual language is a really broad topic and it can enhance your photography skills and your style. Pat has many great videos on his YouTube channel about visual language, about patterns, about composition and so on. Check them out, they're really great. I figured that my photography skills are pretty much average and I have to improve. At the moment I'm working on composition and on framing. Finding your own style. To develop your own style, Pat gave the advice to work with a mood board. That can be done on Pinterest or similar websites. You collect photos you like and then you try to replicate them. You combine different styles of others and maybe at some point you have your own style. Another effective approach could be to have some sort of a feedback process where you get feedback with each iteration and you can improve gradually. Color theory. The core of the editing process is getting exposure, contrast and color right. Later on you can refine through masking, adding sharpness and other elements. Color has meaning and makes a big part of the end result. I would highly recommend Pat's video on his YouTube channel about color theory. You can learn a lot about color. The Adobe Color Wheel is a very useful tool that can help you to understand which colors work well together. In the course, Pat Pat shares the idea of uniting colors. If you have too many colors in a picture or a certain color that you don't like too much, you could reduce the amount of colors and give it a unique look. For example, if you have some orange color you don't like, you could make it appear more red. Or if there's another color you don't like, you could reduce the saturation so that it does not stand out that much. Three of my common editing errors. In my own editing approach before I did many mistakes, for example overdoing it. Overdoing it in the color panel and messing with the colors. Or overdoing it with saturation, brightness and contrast and using it wrong. Another mistake was losing details because I was not looking at the histogram and I had over or under exposed elements. But I guess the main problem for me was not having an overarching philosophy of how to edit photos and how all of the things work together. The course helped me with all of that and now I'm confident and I know what I have to do. The only thing that I need is practice and experience that will come with time. Masking. Masking is one of my new favorite tools. You can do a lot with it. The power lies in the selection process. For example, you could select the subject automatically if needed. It can be refined. You can select the sky, adjust the brightness of the sky, adjust the tone of the sky. You can add a gradient. There are unlimited methods how to use it. Alright guys, I would highly recommend Packcase Lightroom Masterclass if you want to learn more about him, check his website or YouTube channel. Now it's time for you to create. See you next time.